guys, it's Katniss here and today I'll be showing you how I set up my beta aquarium and I'll also talk you through how to set up a tropical fish tank. Step one, wash the gravel. Here is my gravel and this is silica sand. You wash this six times. Regular gravel like colors, pebbles, stones, wash four times. Why so much? Because it comes off with all this just gas and dust which will cloud your water and can be harmful to your fish. Only use aquarium safe gravel. Use a removable shower head if you have one to hose it. Or use a tap. Step two, put a towel on the floor nearby. So if any spills happen, you can wipe them up. And you need to place the gravel in your aquarium and arrange it how you like it. Then we're going to install our heater. And there's just a little flick there. So I have a AM 150 watt tropical glass heater. Comes with suction cups. And when we've done that, we'll install the um, filter. So this is my filter. And remember with these little I'm not sure what they're called. Strainers, I think. Yeah, strainers. It's this part here. The bigger the strainer is, the less um, powerful your filter will be. And so it won't suck that much water up. So it will be more comfortable for baiters who do not like strong currents. Next, you need your water outlet. So this is mine right here. All the water will just squirt out. And once you've assembled the filter, it's step three, which is get your filter media sorted. So you're going to have to open up your panels if you have some. And pretty much check that everything's in there and rinse it all. So I have rinsed my carbon filter, my filter sponges and my ceramic noodles. Also rinse through the pipes and the filter um, plastic underneath. If you have a filter inside your cabinet, which is a submersion tank, just follow the manufacturer's instructions for those and make sure you rinse everything very thoroughly in those because they can get quite dusty and the noodles can get quite dusty as well. Okay, so the next step is to prepare our decorations. Um, everything needs to be rinsed before it gets into the aquarium. This gets off dust, so we will just take off all the tags and price tags. Then go to the sink. Then just eat them in the shower for this. And just rinse every decoration and set it out to dry. Do this with every single one that you have. And when you're done, just put them in a bucket of um, warm water and we'll take them to the tank and then we'll start decorating. See you in the next clip. Hey everybody, before we start decorating, I forgot to mention one crucial thing that we need to add water. And to do this, we get a plate and put it on the gravel. And we pour water onto the plate and then we fill the water up to about here and when we decorate we push the plants two and a half centimeters which is exactly one inch into the gravel and we do this with the water in it to stop them from floating up so yeah and I'll show you the decorated tank in the next clip. Hey guys, so um, I filled it up and decorated it. And the next step is, once we've decorated, is to fill it up to within one centimeter of the top frame, which is here. And we'll fill it up to there. Then we will plug in our filter and heater and the, I'll put the light hood up the top. And we will also add the recommended dose of water conditioner. And if you're adding fish soon, 
I'm going to be waiting a few months because I'm going on holiday. We will add biological supplement as well. So, um, if you can, plug all your stuff in now. But make sure you leave a drip loop, which is a loop like this. So, all the water drips down there if it runs down the cord and doesn't go into the main socket. I can't plug it all in and show you what it looks like now because I don't have enough electrical sockets and I'm getting some extension cords soon. But I will see you in the next clip and that will be where my tank is all filled up and it will be looking nice and ready. Bye. Hey guys, so this is the tank all set up. I've got my power connected. Everything is done except the heater because my temperature is currently sitting at 29.0 degrees Celsius, which is a bit much for the betas. So, has two light settings up here. Off, blue light and white light. Looks great. The heater is in the corner. Everything is decorated. And if you want to add a biological supplement to your tank, if you're adding fish soon, you should do that. So it's inside the lid. And it should be about this much space left in your tank. And betas um, don't like the temperature higher than 26 degrees Celsius. So don't put it higher than that. Keep a drip loop on your power point. So currently on mine is like, it's not really a drip loop, but it will drip into the carpet if anything happens. And at night I turn the filter off because it's a trickle filter. And it's kind of really, not really noisy but noisy so the water goes up there sprays out sprays out some more then just stops there all of it drains into the outlet drain which is there so that's it for my tank setup. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll update you guys later. Bye!